Hi, I'm Ken Mudge. I'm Steve Gabriel. And we're writing a book on forest farming, which is the practice of cultivating non-timber forest crops beneath the canopy of an established forest. We need your help because we're trying to develop case studies for the book and also an online resource where we can grow the network of forest farmers around the East Coast. I've been involved in agroforestry for just about a couple of decades now. But forest farming has the potential to feed people but perhaps more important to the people, uh, the, the farmers themselves, it has uh, some income potential. So there are food crops, nutritious food crops like shiitake mushrooms that sell for about $16 a pound. The ginseng, which we grow here also, is an extremely valuable crop, a couple hundred dollars a pound. So there is real income opportunity. A lot of the forest farmers, that's why they're here. Uh, but there are other people, particularly in smaller acreages, who are just interested in doing this as a source of food or medicinals for the family. And what I've been saying for years is that Ken's research and the interest in mushroom production has been the first sort of breakthrough to say, in this climate, here's a crop that you can grow, you can grow pretty reliably, and it'll produce enough volume that you can actually take it to market and make a, a decent living. I only have an acre of forest, and in that acre of forest I'm producing uh, shiitake mushrooms, maple syrup, starting to plant ginseng and other medicinals and I'm not even using that entire acre of land so you really don't need a lot of forested land in order to do forest farming. And it's not just about what we can get out um, in terms of products, it's also about the wildlife value of the woods and the riparian stream corridors that we can support good healthy clean water and things like that. So you know again the nice thing about forest farming is really the mix of production and, and conservation at the same time. Uh, one of the uh, features of forest farming is that that forest canopy is absolutely essential. So it's uh, strong motivation for uh, managing your forest uh, f for maintaining a canopy rather than necessarily cutting it down for uh, timber. Uh, so that's a, a very much an environmental benefit. Forests are, are really excellent places to start doing agriculture because of the effects of climate change that are that are here and we're experiencing now. Forest ecosystems are, are much more resilient in the face of uh, extreme environmental conditions. And so uh, when we talk about soil erosion, when we talk about water management, all these sort of things, the, the forest and the trees and the canopy really buffer any of those negative effects. So this is really the first uh, book about specifically about temperate forest farming, which is really unique. And also the website that we're looking to develop and the, the case study resource is really one of a kind in terms of really connecting people with other people that are actually farming the woods. We need you to support this book because it will allow us to show a broader range of forest farming activities beyond just what we've done. We're operating on a very limited budget with our book writing and it essentially allows us to travel uh, close to home, close to New York, but not very much further. What the book is missing is case studies. What we really need is is the opportunity to go visit more of these sites and document the types of work that's being done. And these case studies are a really important part of the book because it shows that not just us are interested in forest farming or have practiced forest farming, but there are others who are um, quite active and quite successful at it. Lots of perks if you help us out. Uh, we have gift cards that are uh, done with art by Carl Whitaker who's doing some drawings for our book. Uh, you can get a copy of the book signed by us if you donate $50. And at higher level, we'll actually come to your woods and do a mushroom workshop for you and your friends. Well, we hope we have convinced you that it will be worth your time to uh, contribute to this book venture. Uh, please go to the website and uh, consider donation. Thank you.